Welcome to another MTD Technical Corner. I'm here with Marcus Hamlin, Technical Sales Manager at First MTA. We're here to discuss uh, the Kitagawa range of rotary tables. Um, but first of all, thanks for coming to, the, coming to the show. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. So could you please just, so obviously Kitagawa uh, are well known for rotary tables, but could you please give us a, a quick little history and overview of what Kitagawa do? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so Kitagawa have been making rotary tables for over 60 years now. Um, they have a wide range of fourth and fifth axis tables to suit most applications. Um, and the MK is the latest edition of that, the, the latest compact table that they they produced. So everyone knows Kitagawa for rotary tables, but they don't necessarily know the MK range. Now, what are the benefits of the MK range? Uh, so the main benefits of the MK range are it's a slim design. They've removed the face plate to enable it to maximize the, the working area on, in, a, in a machine. Um, it's, it's vertically mounted, so you don't have to get under the table to, to, to mount it onto the machine bed. You also don't need toe clamps. Um, to bolt it down so it creates a clean um, clean area in the machine and less possible possibility of interference. Um, it's got a um, it's got a very high lead cutting torque um, due to its worm wheel design um, and also the clamping force um, is higher than the outgoing uh, MR table. So some machine shops might not yet have invested in a rotary table. They might have three axis VMCs and they're doing standard parts. What are, the, what are the applications and the benefits of installing a rotary table on your, on your VMC? Um, ultimately, fitting a, a rotary table to your three-axis machine will give it more flexibility. Um, so you can you could mount a chuck on it, which will enable you to drill radial holes in components. Um, you could mount a trunnion, um, which this is ideally suited for with, a, with its thin design. You can maximize the, the size of the trunnion bed. Um, they've also developed a thin tail spindle to, to match the, the rotary table. So absolutely making that bridge size as large as possible. Um, you could also um, fit a chick index, indexer subsystem. Um, which, which we're actually talking about soon. We're going to do another technical corner on the chick indexer subsystem. Yeah, absolutely. So um, watch this space on that. But yeah. back to the Tronion setup. So you say you do a tail spindle that goes with the MK range. Yeah. And what's so, what, what, why do these make a good pairing? Um, well, the, the tail spindle has just been made absolutely as thin as possible um, and 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 the, and the table is obviously as thin as possible, utilizing the, the the lack of face plate. So you're just bolting the fixture straight onto the onto the rotary directly. So a um, mixture of the top top um, top to bottom bolting of the rotary table, no face plate, maximizes your working area, and also makes trunnion design. Does it make it easier? Does it make it quicker to assemble? Um, it, it will make it quicker to fit the fit the the rotary table itself because yeah, again you, you're just bolting it down from the top, so you've got easy access um, for for when you fit the rotary table in the first. So place. for someone with a three axis that's not quite invested yet in a rotary table, maybe assuming that it's going to take up loads of space on their on their machine bed, they're going to lose capacity. Actually, it might be the complete opposite. Absolutely, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, so what we've talked about the MK range. Obviously, Kitagawa do. Uh, I've been doing rotary tables like you say for sixty years, so. Alongside all these benefits of the MK range, you get the standard Kitagawa quality uh, quality and assurance that you get from, from us any standard Kitagawa yes. table. Yeah, so the MK range comes in 200, 250, and 350. Um, the 350 has got extremely high clamping torque at 6,000 newton meters, so ideal for heavy duty cutting. Um, it's also got a very large through bore, so if you need to fit um, large components through, um, and there's also the ability to, to install um, a rotary joint. So if you want to have hydraulic or pneumatic um, work holding attached, you've got a way of porting the air and hydraulics through the rotary table. Um, and that's all integrates very cleanly into the rotary table. So this MK range will help you future-proof yourself for automation potentially as well. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, if you just, if you decide to put a robot on your on your on your three-axis machine at some stage to to increase versatility even further, then yeah, you can you can have hydraulic vices or hydraulic chucks or pneumatics. Um, it, it really does give you a lot of flexibility. So thank you very much, Marcus. And that's been the end of this MTD technical corner. If you want to find out more, contact First MTA.